This morning, a Lincoln County man is in jail after he was arrested for driving drunk, but that wasn't the only problem. Officers say he was driving a dead woman's car. Good morning. David has been warning you all week long that it's going to cool down. It's not like yesterday in the 60s in a lot of places. This morning, some places are seeing 30s. This morning, yeah. the governor's race and attorney general race are the big ones today, but there are other items on the ballot. You, a lot of times when I walk out the door in the morning, I'm half asleep, <laughs> and so I don't really even notice what the weather is like outside. Today, it is muggy. I noticed I must have been awake. Yes. <laughs> I loved Lauren earlier was digging you about your team. Yeah. Your tickets are kind of cheap. Well, that's all right. <laughs> that means I get to go see my team. That is true. Have to watch it on TV. The wow. time now is 434. Governor Robert Bentley is trying to get a handle on drones in our state. This Friday, his newly appointed drone task force will come together for the first time in Montgomery. Good morning. Well, one excuse you can't use this morning not to vote is the weather because it's very mild out there, even warmer than we've seen the past few days. Oh. It's 633 this morning. The governor's race and attorney general race are the big ones today, but there are other items on the ballot. WAFF 48's Mary Muriel Bailey is live to tell you what else you can expect when you go to vote. Muriel? Well, we wanted to know what's the biggest issue for voters in North Alabama, so we hit the streets to find out. Everyone we spoke with says it comes down to money. You can tell us what you think is the biggest issue facing Alabama and the United States. Go to WAFF.com and click on the story and you'll find a place to comment below the story. Well, one person is recovering after a pickup hauling a trailer slammed into a Colbert County business. Surveillance video from the Spring Valley Volunteer Fire Department shows the crash at the building next door. The truck crashed into the building on the Grange Road about 10 on Sunday night. No word yet on what caused it. Well, tomorrow, the University of North Alabama Board of Trustees will meet again to talk about the school's next president. The board discussed the final three candidates yesterday, but they haven't made a decision. A selection committee narrowed down the search to three out of almost 50 applicants.